Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and our first stop this week is at a unique hub for odd art in Houston. It's called the Yorn Show, and when I first heard about it, I was ready for some OJ. Turns out, I was completely wrong. <laughs> The hustle and bustle of the city streets in Houston can always be a bit bananas, but there's no reason to gripe about sour grapes. Just take a little detour on the side of Interstate 45 for a fruity lesson about the orange. Thank God Jeff bought this property right by the freeway. Right? He really did us a favor. <laughs> Pete Gershon is the curator of programs for the Orange Show Center for Visionary Art. What we do uh, at the Orange Show is to celebrate the artist and everyone. The Orange Show Center for Visionary Art celebrates the Space City's unique art scene with places like the Beer Can House and its namesake, the Orange Show. The Orange Show means so much to us. It's a symbol. All right, welcome to the Orange Show. Very interesting. Yeah. This odd and interesting homage to the orange was built by one man who had a fondness for one particular fruit. So the Orange Show was built between 1955 and 1979 by a retired postal worker named Jefferson Davis McKissick. What is going on in here? Uh, well, uh, this is a place where uh, information is communicated. Uh, Jeff really wanted you to know about the um, nutritional value of the orange, so he's made some signs here that explain where the nutrients come from. Interesting. So right. it's kind of like an art exhibit and lesson in health, according to Jeff. Yeah, it's a little like the Science Museum. He really wanted you to have this information, and he dedicated his entire life to it. He felt like the orange was the perfect food. Uh, he wrote a whole book about this. It was called How You Can Live to Be 100 Years Old and Still Be Spry. Uh, and, uh, you know, he wrote this in 1960, and it was like the 1960 version of a blog. And uh, he thought if you really took care of your body and you ate the right things and you exercised right, you could live to be 100 years old. Jeff only lived to be 78. Ah, I was about to say, did he make it to 100? Yeah, but his message survives. While Jeff's allegiance to oranges is the message, the architecture, art, and design of his palace to produce is what makes this place really stick out. As his ideas evolved, uh, the space began to ramble on and on and expand and grow. Kind of a random collection of farm implements, uh, some mannequins that he got hold of. Uh, he made some more signs, fan of poetry. Again, uh, everything's uh, about the orange in here. It was a way of life for Jeff. Some guys work on cars, some guys golf. Some guys make crazy houses. They make an orange show. Yeah, the orange show. <laughs> Engaging with art does not necessarily mean an afternoon in a quiet museum where you're very seriously walking through and studying the artwork. While this art installation is part of the community now, when Jeff built it, the reception was a little bit sour. There was some resentment and some confusion, I think, with the neighbors. Uh, but Jeff was not really a kook. Uh, this is somebody who graduated from college, went off to grad school, he worked in a bank. Um, you know, he had a, had a good head on his shoulders. Despite not really worrying about what was being said down the grapevine, Jeff did have a voting booth at the end of the tour that might have been a bit skewed. Can you say the Orange Show is the most beautiful show on Earth? Can you say the Orange Show is the most unique show on Earth? Can you say that the Orange Show is the ninth wonder of the world? Oh, uh, can you after say, the Astrodome, sure. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you say that Jeff D. McKissick, who built the Orange Show all by himself, over a period of many years as a creative, artistic, building genius. <laughs> and you see here, it's a yes or no vote, uh, and uh, you must be of uh, voting age, uh, 18 years or, or older. I love how you had yeah. to get that a little self-question there in at the end. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Let's talk about the artist at the end here. <laughs> <laughs> From upbeat signs, sizable steamboat models, to things that just don't make a lot of sense. There's all sorts of stuff to see here. But for Pete, a tiny ledge filled with a funky assortment of tiles is what squeezes the artist's juices from his soul. So this is your favorite part? Yeah, it's well, you know, it's, it's a weird little part that nobody ever notices, but uh, it's a hodgepodge of tile that obviously Jeff never wanted to throw anything away. He wanted to decorate every surface. Uh, 
It's just something I noticed and always wondered, why did he do it like that? Why did he use this strange uh, assortment of hearts and geometric tiles? Uh, it's really one of the most abstract pieces of the Orange Show. It's a minor detail, but it's always caught my eye. And what's unique is it's hidden, like back here in the back in the corner against the stairs. Who is supposed to ever see it back here? Yeah, right? It's probably Jeff sitting there going, nobody's ever gonna see this. Yeah. Just put whatever on here. Yeah. <laughs> so if you wanna be a star in the Orange Show, just Stop by the Orange Show and see why peeling away the layers of this art exhibit is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. You can think differently. You can think differently about art and creativity. Everybody's an artist deep down and you can work with what's close at hand and make something special and unique. And we can inspire people to do that with this place.